Hello guys. Today we want to look at a heat proof and how to calculate the number of iron heat for a specific heat proof. Welcome back again to Engineer Tin Academy. If you're new here, you know how we do it. Subscribe, share, and don't forget to leave a comment. Actually, I want to thank you guys for the support. You are doing an amazing job. So we want to look at this heat proof. I remember we had done a video on the heat proof, but we did not calculate the number of iron sheets for this heat proof. So let's look at how to go about it. So this is our plan view of the heat proof. If you look at it, this is our heat proof. You can see it's it's forming uh, on top. If you look at, if you view it from the top view, it's forming kind of, uh, we have a trapezium here and here, and then we have a, a triangle on this side and a triangle on the other side. So that is what we have here. So we are going to divide it into sections. So we have section A, A, section B, B, so that we can be able to get the roof area. So the first thing that you do before you do anything, make sure you calculate the, the roof area. Now, for us to calculate the roof area, we need to get the length and the width. So in this case, we have 20 meters length from here up to here and 10 meters with it from here up to here that is using the top top view plan we use the top view plan so this is not the length and the width of the of the house it's the top view plan now once we get the length and the width we are going to use half fan rule what does that mean it means we take half half the width half the width the width is 10 meters so we take half the width here from here up to there that width a half of it so the entire width is 10 half of it will be 5 meters so i've indicated here from here up to here is 5 meters same as from here up to here is 5 meters so this rule applies on the other side so from here from where this where they meet at this point here, if you draw a line, so from here up to here is five meters, same as from here up to here is five meters. So our ridge length now will be, so our ridge length is from here up to here. If we go to the plan is from this point here up to this point here. So remember we have 20, the entire length, but we've taken half the span, so we've gotten here to be five and here to be, so 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 minus 20, that gives us 10. So our ridge length here on top here is 10 meters. Now, since we have the ridge length, then we can proceed now. Before we go to the finding the area, we need to get the height, the height of that plan. So this is our height H. We have 5 meters here. So we are going to use the Sokotoa because this is a triangle. So this is 90 degrees. This one here is forming. 90 degrees so this one is 45 degrees so 45 5 meters and we have the height so we are going to incorporate tan so tan 45 is h over 5 so our h will be 5 meters since tan 45 is 1 is 1 so our height will be 5 meters so that is our height like that it's 5 meters now we can be able to find the area of the trapezium that is of the trapezium this one here the trapezium the aa that is the trapezium so area of the trapezium is a half into a plus b and then you multiply by the by the height so our half into a a is the length here which was 20 meters b is 20 is 10 meters the ridge length and then we multiply by the height which is 5 meters so that one gives us 75 meters square 75 square meters and then we multiply by two because we have this side and this side so that will give us 150 square meters so that is the area of the trapezium let's now find the area of the the area of the triangle the area of the triangle is our base and height so our base is 10 meters the height is 5 meters this is our height remember that and then if we multiply that we get 25 square meters and then of course we have to triangle b and triangle b on this side so that gives us 50 meters so the total roof area will be 150 this is for the trapezium and this is for the triangle giving us a total of 200 square meters now once we have the area of the square meters there is something called the slope factor you want to incorporate the slope factor so the slope factor is 
is is what measures how many inches the roof rises vertically for every 12 inches horizontally so we have different you can take six inches six inches vertical for every 12 inches horizontally five inches you can take seven inches so in this case we are using a slope of six to 12 so that gives us 1.5 so our roof area will be the roof area that we had gotten them the slope area so 200 times 1.50 is giving us 300 square meters so that is the roof area that we are going to use to calculate the number of iron sheets now once you have the roof area we are going to proceed to getting the number of iron sheets we have done a video on number of iron sheets and it did perfectly very well and i'm so grateful guys for that the size of iron sheets we are taking the size to be three meters for the length that is the length three meters and the we did here to be one meter there are different sizes of iron sheets so you can use the one that you have so but for this video we are using the three meter by one meter and then we have overlaps overlaps if you have this iron sheet you place it you place the other one here so it overlaps so the overlaps is 75 millimeters and the ends the ends is what protrudes outside is 250 millimeters so for the ends it's going to be 2 times 75 so that is 150 so we are subtracting one meter for us to get the effective length and width it because remember the effective length and width it is what we are using to calculate the number of iron sheets because we need the effective area not the area of the iron sheet the effective area of the iron sheet so we subtract that from one meter we did it we remain with 850 and then for the ends is the length which is 3000 we subtract the ends which is 250 we are left with 2750 millimeters so our effective area will be the length which is 2.75 times 0 0.85 giving us 3.3375 meter square now with the effective area and the area of the roof we can be able to now get the number of iron sheets that we need therefore the number of iron sheets will be the roof area divided by area of the iron sheet so the roof area was 300 the uh, the area of iron sheets the effective area of the iron sheet is 2.3375 that gives us 128.35 that is 129 iron sheet so you can allow for your wastage a certain percentage say five percent wasted regarding on how you want to do it but that is how to get the number of iron sheets thank you guys for your time thank you for your support until next time bye bye